Just want to make a quick video showing you guys some uh, IR pollution issues you might run into with certain cameras. Obviously, like the Blackmagic design cameras, the Ursa Mini, uh, some of the RED cameras, very sensitive to IR pollution. Now, without any ND filtration, the camera seems to be working decent. There is some IR pollution. But once you start using ND filters, it gets serious real quick. Uh, I shot earlier today and everything that should have been black ended up being uh, red. And it wasn't just the camera, it was the filters that I was using. So um, when I shot in uh, Monterey, I used a variable ND filter. This is the Lightcraft Workshop Fader ND uh, Mark II. So I used a variable ND filter and I had absolutely no problems, worked great. Uh, I loved the colors that were coming out. I had no issues with IR. So it wasn't something I was really thinking about. Um, and then today I went and tried my, my uh, Tiffin, which is, you know, high quality uh, ND filter 1.2. And everything was like, you know, a hundred times worse than it should be. It was really bad. So uh, none of these filters are advertised as IR cut. So, you know, they do sell special filters that will help cut down some of the uh, IR pollution that ends up in the sensor. Um, but my point is that even without an IR cut filter, some filters are going to be far worse than other filters. In this case, the Tiffin Static uh, 1.2 was just terrible. Again, this is not an IR cut filter, but neither are these. And this one was really really uh, bad so just watch out for that and the reason why I wanted to go with the static is you know traditionally people will say hey a variable ND is gonna make your image a little bit softer than a static and that's something that I've always talked about is static is always the best way to go in this situation it's actually not the best way to go you are gonna get a ton of IR pollution uh, on a static filter like this Tiffin than you will on a variable ND filter like this Lightcraft Workshop Fader um, Mark II. Uh, and then I also have some off-brand Nikna that I picked up a while ago. This one um, ended up vignetting at the wide angle. So, you know, you got to watch out for filters like that. The uh, Lightcraft Workshop starts at 77 and uh, ends up at like an 82 or 86 or something. It's pretty big on the outside, so you're not going to get the uh, vignetting that you'll get on some of the cheaper filters. But Anyways, point is watch out for the filters. Do a test on some of the ND filters that you guys are using. Some are going to be far worse than others. Even a brand name like Tiffin, which I really love and I've used on you know my other cameras, GH4, or A7S, but uh, on my Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini 4.6K, it was just terrible. So not a filter I'll ever be using on that camera. Um, I'm going to run through some tests right now, show you guys the difference. What I did was I applied the exact same LUT, exact same you know exposure settings uh, across the board. So you're going to see how different this black shirt is when applying this uh, Tiffin filter compared to the uh, Lightcraft Workshop. All right, first test here, we have the Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini 4.6K. Uh, we're shooting a black shirt to see the amount of IR pollution. Um, so we're stopped down to like F21 right now. And then the next step is to put on a Tiffin filter, which I had uh, a lot of problems with, and that seemed to introduce a lot more IR pollution than I had without an uh, ND filter. Um, and I, I know ND filters will cause more IR pollution. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look at the, uh, the Tiffin, and then I have two more ND filters, which aren't advertised as IR cut filters, but they seem to do a better job than the Tiffin. So anyways, um, let's put the Tiffin on. All right, so this is with the Tiffin um, 1.2 ND filter. This is not Tiffin's IR. This is just an ND filter from Tiffin. So you can see how red the shirt has become um, so this this filter makes the image even more worse so I would try to stay away from this filter uh, next we're gonna put on a, a variable ND filter from Nikna and we'll see what that looks like all right so this is a variable ND filter from um, an off-brand company called Nikna and you notice that it is not as bad 
has the static Tiffin 1.2 ND filter. Uh, so again, this is a variable ND from Nikna. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Lightcraft Workshop um, variable ND filter here. This is the Fader uh, 2, the Fader ND Mark 2. So uh, let me put that on. All right, final test. This is with the Lightcraft Workshop Fader ND Mark II. Uh, this is a variable ND also, and you can see it is not as bad as the Tiffin Static 1.2. Again, I'm testing all these filters. None of them are advertised as IR cut, but obviously some filters are going to make your image a lot more worse than other filters, so be careful about which one you choose. All right, so that was a test between um, just these three filters here. Again, none of these are advertised as IR cut. My point is that some filters are going to be far worse than others. So guys, make sure you test your ND filters outdoors with your camera and take a look at that image and compare which one is going to be better for you to use. Um, I have always preached that static should be sharper. A high quality static filter like Tiffin is going to have better glass. It's going to be sharper image than most variable ND filters. But in this case, uh, I'm going to take a variable ND over this one because color correcting IR pollution is not something that's easy to do. Um, anyways, uh, if you guys are looking for ND filters, um, I have to say this Lightcraft Workshop Fader ND Mark II has been with me for years and has you know, always performed very well. I just wanted to try the Tiffin today just because, you know, in my mind it should have been sharper. but. It just came out far worse. So make sure you test your stuff. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, I'll have a link to some of these filters below this video as well or on the blog, cheesycam.com.